Where's that BB fam? Learn Bang. Back with another episode. We all about that booty, yo. We love everybody, though. Bangin's out some more episodes. No drama. It's all about mama. No sticking to a script. It's real life. Honey, stay tuned. And don't forget to watch them episodes. We all about that booty, yo. Thanks, BB fam. Love y'all. Hey y'all, how's it going? Guess what? Vern Bang! Yeah, this is Vern Bang! And guess what? Yes, we are banging out another episode. So, we got so many different types of food. I am doing vegetarian and some vegan products. So, anyways, honey, stay tuned. I'm loving out my family that I watch all the time and they watch me it's called veggie pals yes i said veggie pals so this whole video is dedicated to veggie pals so i've been saying i'm gonna do some vegan food and girl i had to put the vegetarian too because you know i ain't got no acrite on me uh-huh i ain't got no acrite and girl, already know I'm missing something. So hang on. Hold up. Wait a minute. Alright, y'all. We're back. I had to put Pia on here. You know, she ain't got no act right sometimes. So that's why I had to stop the video. And you're. Anyway, say hi, P. Anyway, she's going to be down here. Hopefully, she didn't bark and. Cause a mess of problems, but anyways, we got a lot of stuff on here. So we are doing uh, vegetarian and vegan products, and some vegan products. So vegetarian and vegan food only. Period. So anyways, this is my best result. So today, with these noodles, I got Kato K O Y. Or cure, yeah. Don't even give me pronouncing. <laughs> I'm gonna do like ginger snap, honey. We're not trying to hate today. We're trying to love. So, yeah. Ko or whatever. Lemongrass, ginger, ramen. Uh, they're organic. They've got heirloom grains. They're vegan, non-GMO verified, honey. So we have these. Yes, let me just show you the package. We got these baby bellies. 110 calories per one pack. Yeah. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and put the seasoning on them. And then we're doing also, I was like, you know what? <laughs> I seen Veggie Pal do the, uh, girl. I seen Veggie Pals. They did the uh, that cream cheese. Mm-hmm. Or not cream cheese. It was uh. Hang on. Let me get my act right on. Mm-hmm. It was like pimento spread. So they did like a. You know, vegan version of pimento spread. So I'm going to do a vegetarian version of that. Because I'm using dairy. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And real mayonnaise. So it'll be a vegetarian version of that. We're going to we're gonna whip it up right here on camera. And I'm going to use my seasonings. And I'm going to show you some different seasonings that maybe you may get at your little local hole in the wall Mexican store. But these, but oh my god, they smell so. Oh, there you look at them. Look, I can just smell the lemongrass in them. Sugar! Yes, get you a BB bite. Come on. 
Come on, Dan. Mm. 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 Oh my God. <laughs> and now that lemon grass comes through perfectly. Like, baby, I am a big fan of lemongrass, so, and like Thai seasonings, Thai flavors. Mm -hmm. Um, gee. Now I did say I'd probably go live today. And I didn't. But you will see Big Bubba soon. Don't worry. Alrighty, y'all. We're going to see if we can get a good picture of Big Bubba. So. Yes, this is a Big Bubba. Uh huh. Big Bubba. Big Bubba. Yes. Big Bubba. Get him moving around. Big Bubba. I know the water's a little cloudy because this is the new setup. So anyways, yeah, they left Big Bubba half dead on my doorstep. They didn't even send the right parts for the filter, but, yeah, you know. Burn bang, you know. Burn bang, Mr. Fish bang, Mr. Go dig in the trash at Bed Smart. Yeah, you know. So, Big Bubba. So we rescued Big Bubba. And they were trying to not give him to me. They wanted to throw him in a lake. I said, I'll take him. Yeah, I don't know what the, these people were thinking. You know, sometimes, sometimes, what are people thinking? I mean, look at that cute face. Look at that cute face. I mean, how can you throw this baby in the trash? Or in a lake? Come on now. Me and Mom kind of fell in love with Big Bubba, so... Yeah, so... The 75-gallon tank I bought for my fish that's over there that you see in the last video... Has been Big Bubba's home, so... Anyways... Yeah. So I need some help. I need some help because we want to keep Big Bubba. But we also need a bigger fish tank for the other fish. So we asking the family, the family, can you donate? Can you help Big Bubba get a bigger tank? Because this is a 75 gallon tank. He should be like in a 125 or bigger. Look at that face. Oh my god, look at it. <laughs> Baby, can you throw that face in the trash? Hell no. He's probably one of the most unique fish I've seen. Uh, these fish are more aggressive, but he is actually really puppy dog tame. Like, I'll show you. Like, I take the lid off. He actually will move that way. And I can actually stick my hand in there, so I'll... This one I'll do, I'll show you. He doesn't like it, but... He's very... Very puppy dog tame. Yeah. He doesn't bite. He doesn't like it, but he doesn't bite. Because most of these are highly aggressive fish. They said they had him for eight years. I really... Come on. Come on, Bubba. Yeah. So, they had him for eight years. So, I really don't know how really much... How old he is. Anyway, so... Luckily, I had some backup filtration. Because the filter they gave me for him... Uh, it was missing a part. You know, the part that sucks the water in to make the whole filter work. Yeah. 
the heater didn't work. And I still gotta buy him a heater, but right now I got these high power lights on him. That's been heating this tank a lot better. I noticing that he's been uh he's not eating, but he's been pooping a lot because if they're not at the right temperature they can't digest their food so I know there's a lot of food going through his gut right now so anyways this is a plea help Big Bubba get a bigger tank uh, from Vern Bang I am not a fish rescue but I did rescue him because I didn't want him throwing in the lake or trash or wherever they're gonna do with him because they obviously didn't care to have right filtration, have heater for him, blah, blah, blah. And I even contacted these people and said, hey, if you forgot it, just drop it off at my doorstep. Mm, yeah. Haven't heard back. So, anyways. And, uh, so, we got this new fish. He's very unique. He is a red devil. Yep. Red Devil, he's actually really puppy dog tame. Like I said, they had him for eight years. I really don't know how old he is. He's really freaking huge. Um, and he's a sweetheart. And me and mom fell in love with him. He was very dicey for the first, you know, 24 hours. We didn't know whether he was really going to make it or not. So, anyway, so... If anybody is a hobbyist in the Round Rock Austin region that maybe have, you know, 125, 150, 200 gallon laying around somewhere that you just need to get rid of and you want to donate it to Vern Bang, uh, you want to donate it to Bubba because, like I said, I'm not a fish rescue, but I did rescue him and we fell in love with him. So if you want to donate something to Bubba, some money donated to Bubba. You want to donate a fish tank to us and be able to bring it over to us because we live in a poor little house over here. Um, I might be able to pick it up if I have some friends that have a car, but we're just trying to get Bubba because if not, I'm going to have to put Bubba. If not, Bubba's going to go in a 40 gallon tank over here. And, uh, yeah, Bubba will go over here, and, uh, my Koi will go in here, but, and he really doesn't move around that much, and I, like I said, I know he needs a bigger tank than this, because I've been watching videos on Red Devils, Midas's, yeah, so, anyways, I'm waiting to see what we can do for Bubba. He's a very beautiful fish. He's very personable. I'm glad that he actually made it. <laughs> yeah. Man. Please don't keep fish. You're not going to keep them right. Just stay tuned. You know me. I always have a different plan. But you know what I want to do? And I gotta look on this. Let's see. It has lime. Okay. So this is not vegan. Now, see, I really don't know. Does vegetarians eat fish? So, or seafood? So, not real sure. So, if vegetarians eat fish or seafood, then it's vegetarian. Uh, but yes, it does have fish sauce, it has, uh, anchovies, sea salt, water, sugar, Thai chilies, and garlic, and cilantro. So, definitely not vegan. Maybe vegetarian, but, you know, I'm not, so I don't know what really qualifies for that. And, of course, I got some you know, some extra jalapeno slices over here, so we're going to go ahead and add some of this to it. This adds some of our uh, chom sauce. Yes, honey. Let's kick this flavor up one. Under it. Uh -huh. 
Mm. Baby. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, I've been meaning to do like vegan or vegetarian food for a while. And I haven't, I've just been lazy. And so that's why this uh, episode is dedicated to, uh, which I know you can't eat some of the stuff I'm doing, honey. But y'all know how to improvise. Mm. You can definitely try the noodles. But yeah, that's why this episode is dedicated to Veggie Pals. They are, I'm a big fan of them. And then I'm going to do their this recipe I see Amy do. Yes, honey. Go so try it. And like I said, it's heirloom grains. It's vegan. No GMO verified. So, yes, honey. She is super tasty. So, like I said, some of the dishes won't be 100%. You know, so we're going to go ahead and start making this uh, pimento cheese, which I'm just using real cheese because that's going to be the vegetarian part because, girl, I'm just using what I got in my house, you know. I love me some real cheese. That's why I definitely said it's going to be, I guess, vegetarian. Right. You do that. And I just got regular old mayonnaise from the Dollar Tree. Go ahead and get a. Uh, Boonula. Put in a couple some mayonnaise on there. Alright, so now this is where we're gonna snatch it from is the seasoning. So I got me a little little raging Cajun. If you ain't tried the raging Cajun, girl, she is good. Uh it is salt, spices, paprika, dry garlic, dried onions. Dried celery and dried calcium phosphate to prevent So she might be vegetarian or vegan. And since I already know I'm going to have some of these packages. So when I go to the Spanish store, I get mi cocienda. So yeah, I get this one. This is granulated garlic, and this is produced out of uh, Axel, Illinois. So this is Illinois right here. I L. So we're gonna put some granulated garlic, and girl, <laughs> you already know you're gonna be like burn, really. Yes, <laughs> honey, do you not like garlic? <laughs> I need extra garlic. Because <laughs> you know, I gotta be extra. Yes, honey. With everything. And, uh, so what else? What else are we doing? Oh, so instead of like paprika or something, since we're in Texas, so I get this one. Yeah, it's a chili guajillo. Mm -hmm. 
Ja. Yeah, that's not it. You can see that mess over there. I apologize. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go ahead and stir this up. Oh. Yeah. Duh. And I'm going by off memory, so if I don't put exactly what uh, Amy put in her from Veggie Pals, you know, I'm just going by memory. So we're going to do some cream cheese, and I have the, uh, I have the Hannah's, this is a plant-based cream cheese. So the cream cheese is plant based. Yes, honey. So I got a plant based and dairy blend. Okay, so it's a plant based and dairy blend. This is the Hannah's cream cheese. This is money. I buy it all the time, actually. That is like one of my favorite go to. You can get it at the Dollar Tree. Mm -hmm. Yes, I said the Dollar Tree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is a Dollar Tree cream cheese. All right, Let me go ahead and use my chopstick. Oh yeah, and I don't know how much to put in here, but we're gonna put enough to get it creamy. Huh? Yeah, see, look at that. Enough to get up. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Super creamy. OMG. Sorry, y'all. I'm just making a mess over here, but that's all right. It's good to play with your food. So, we're going to go ahead and mix this up. Sorry. I didn't have a clear bowl today, but we're just going to, this is just the basic, like I said, pimento cheese. And so instead of paprika, I'm using the Guajillo chili powder. Um, we got granulated garlic powder, we got regular garlic powder. I got my regular mayonnaise from the Dollar Tree. We got... Uh, the Mexican cheese blend as well as we got a cream cheese plant dairy base and we also got the mozzarella so you do it your way I'm going to do it my way and we just going to be the best of us mm -hmm. Cause I'm just trying to use what I got in my fridge, honey. Yes, ma'am, yes, sir. So, anyways, how are y'all doing today? Hopefully, you're all having a beautiful, beautiful day. And just because I think I forgot to pray, let's pray again. Lord Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you for everything you do in our life, Lord. I just want to pray for everybody in the whole wide world. You know their hearts, you know their needs. In your name we pray. Amen. So, if I got to pray, we're going to pray again, because, hey, it's good to stay prayed up. But like I said, this is a big, like, Veggie Pal shout out. Like I said, they support my channel 100. I support them. Yes, honey. So, when you're watching this channel, you're going to see some pop downs, and I'm going to put some of their videos up. And you may see some extra stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. Girl. What you say? OMG, look at it. Honey. I ain't got no pimento in there, but girl. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. I would not never know that I didn't have no pimento in here. Mm-hmm. 
Alright, let me wipe this up. <laughs> Scoop her down. Alright, let's show you the next phase. So, and this one, let me show you. So, some of the suspects we're going to do in our, uh, I'm sorry if you can see all this mess over here. Oh, well. It's she tis, what she tis. So, we got a couple of things going on. So, first, I'm going to show you, and this we got, uh, put her up here. So, we got, uh, soybean curds chopped up. Uh huh. We got our Mayak eggs. Uh huh. And we got some uh, chicken rice. So vegetarian, maybe vegan. And I put some of this. Uh, it is a. It's like water. Apple cider vinegar, brown sugar, yeah, it has like a little season mixture. So we got that on everything in here. And then I got some like little sesame seeds and stuff. Was that might as well add a little bit to everything. Since we're gonna put it in our concoction we're making today. So yes so and this is like sesame seed flakes pumpkin flakes roasted black sesame seeds regular sesame seeds carrot and diced shallot so yes baby so it's like a plethora of everything so let's try this again mm. if you ain't try these soybean curds money honey so we're gonna go ahead and put that forward yeah, we're just gonna make them right on here. And so this is the vegan. This is the good catch, plant-based chef master, fish-free tuna. Six plants, fourteen grams of protein. So yes, honey. So we're trying this fish-free tuna. It's got oil and herbs. This is by uh, Chad Samboroso and Der Samboroso. So, yes, honey. We're going to try this as well. We also got some. Uh, let's open it up because we're going to have to open it up anyways. I also bought this at the store. This is uh, Go Verdin. Yeah. Go over it in on natural chunks. This is a vegan product, gluten free, as well. It's a product of Mexico, but it's just avocado. Yeah. Avocado chunks. So we got that one going. We'll put it over there in case we need to hide some mess. So we're going to put this in here as well. Oh. Girl. And this is what it looks like. Comes in a 16 ounce container. <clears throat> and you're like, why do you use your teeth? Girl, because these hands ain't popping it open. You may just have to use a, uh, a scissor, which we will. I don't know why they make these. They need to make it to where, I know why they still look so good, because they don't want it. You know, they want to get that three or four month shelf life on it, but baby, you know. How are we going to open it? Oh, it tastes so good. So, yeah. So, we got. So, yeah, I told you it was going to be a <laughs> vegan vegetarian feast, so. Yeah. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Girl, I'm hungry. I'm good. I'm 
judge me. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna pop this open. And I had this idea a while ago that I was wanting to do. Like, I'm just wanting to do some some stuff that's very different, you know. So we're gonna do like a uh, spring roll. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Definitely gonna do a spring roll. So we got our spring roll wrappers right here. So I don't care. You gonna see my HEB bag back here? We got our water. So we're just going to uh, no dip and dive. Make a mess, fill it everywhere. Oh well, we just having fun. This is this segment is about having fun and shouting out other content creators. Like I said, you will see in my drop downs, you will see other content creators as well that I'm gonna shout out. And don't forget to get your lips hot sauce. Go to uh, Living Life and Positive Serenity, baby. Go with you some hot sauce and. Yes, sugar. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to get you uh, some bonnets. Man, these sesame seeds are everywhere. Don't forget to go get you some bonnets from um, Yummy Bites TV. And so we're going to put a little... And you know, they got the the pink and yellow, they got the black and red reversibles. We're gonna put some rice on here. Um, yes, go get you some bonnet and E. That's all linked in my comment description. Mm hmm. So, we gotta work fast. So, yeah, my idea was putting some condiments in there. And then definitely hitting it with this uh, homemade pimento. Yes. <laughs> and then we're going to go ahead and just use this for Throw some of that avocado in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And we're going to have some of this tuna, so. I know I should have got a separate one, but this is plant based, so that's plant based. I think we'll be good. Mm -hmm. Hello, jalapeno on there, baby. And if you didn't see this, this is the fish free made by uh, Chad Sombrero and Derek Sombrero. I guess they're brothers. So definitely vegan and like I said this whole meal is not vegan it is vegan vegetarian so or you can say who who hooligan a herring mm-hmm whatever <laughs> but baby look all wrapped up OMG, look how pretty it is. A little open on this side, but that's alright. We're gonna need that side first. Look, honey. Super cute. Cheers, y'all. Mm. First time eating uh, fish free fish tuna. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, sorry, peas like precious. Come here. Mm-hmm. Girl. She is on such high alert since she can't see no more. It's like... Exactly. 
she hears a truck back up, which is what she's hearing. High alert. <laughs> Stranger danger. <laughs> anyways, I guess that's a good thing, but. So anyways, we got our lip pop sauce. Yes, honey. Our lips. I have no idea whether it's, uh, I would say more vegetarian. I have no idea if it's vegan. But baby. This is so good. Mm -hmm. OMG. <laughs> OMG. OMG. I'm going to get another one. So. Alright. <laughs> Let's try this again. Let's get another one. Put it in the water. Yes, honey. It doesn't take much. Now, I did have hot water in here. Like a mixture, like lukewarm water, but... You know, me yammering. It's taking too long. So we're going to put it right here. And really, from the time you put it there, girl, you get to work quickly. But yeah, this is very tasty, very good. Like I said, I'm sorry I didn't have the see through bowls. And these soybean, girl. And this, uh, which this is chicken rice. You know, I did say it's Maggie's bouillon. So we got some eggs, some of these Maya eggs. Mm, my favorite. Mm -hmm. This is my avocado. Mm -hmm. So you can still eat healthy, girl. With some vegan vegetarian products, you know. And it looks like fish, don't it? What do you think? Look like a fish plate? And then we'll dip it that way, dip it this way. Yes, and it may be a little uh, like stiff when you're trying to roll, and then like when you're trying to roll, if you can see it, like so you don't have the uh, the bust outs on the side, and you just roll it a little bit more in, cause girl. You know she got a full. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're just cleaning it up that way. Yeah, so when you tuck it in like I did, you see? Tuck it in and tuck it in on that side. So on this side, you can see I got the cream cheese and then I got all the goodness inside. Honey. Cheers, y'all. We got back on day. Got this to try. This I got an Angie's. This is a uh, what product is this? This has got to be from uh, uh, it's from Utah. Okay, 
I almost want to say it was like a Japanese product, but it is a big roll grilled seaweed wrapper. To me, like very Japanesey. Maybe not. Oh, it's product of Thailand. Yeah, product of Thailand. And it's imported by Industry California. And then it's also say produced by Deco Ginyaki Food Market BPL Utah or Sam. On it. Oh, you tie. Yeah, Thailand. Okay, night you saw. Girl, I'm all over the place. Anyway, part I go to Thailand. Part I go to Thailand. Mm -hmm. I mean, damn, it's like everything is like imported by, imported or made by Industry City of California. <laughs> mm. Let's hear with the lips, because we need a little spice in our life. Mm. Wow, baby. That is so good, so creamy. And because everything is so creamy in it, like the harder, because the, the vegan fish has a harder texture than like normal fish would so having all of the the rice like some salt stuff in it the a and the creamy <laughs> helps that fish be creamy like like if you tell me i wouldn't eat fish i would never know it other than it doesn't have like a strong fish flavor but it's very, very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that lips, though. So, anyways, I'm just shouting out the Veggie Pals. Go check the Veggie Pals out. They're a beautiful, beautiful content creator. Amy, her two daughters. Please go check them out. This is probably the closest I'm gonna get to vegan or vegetarian food. Cause <laughs> the closest, but yeah. Mm. Wow. Ooh. Well, like burn. Use your scissors. <laughs> I don't know why I always want to use my teeth. I guess just natural habit. So I think it broke. Yeah, it broke. Yeah. So it's normally one piece, but it broke. Oh well. Look all like little rubbles. Mm-hmm. I think these were 35 cents over at Angie's. 
to the discount food place? Maybe. Wow. Hang on. <laughs> All right. Since I'm not that that hungry, let's go with the a mini rice paper. So they do make these in minis. So usually, I got these at a um, Sprouts or like an organic store. They were like little minis, so. If you want the real deal big ones, you need to go to an Asian, an Asian store, Korean, some type of Asian store, to get the big one. Because I got these at Sprouts, which is a local, like, organic, vegan store, and I was like, holy crap, why in the hell can I fit anything in there? I don't know. So I was like, when I get full, I'm going to use these for that. Or, you already know. So we're going to go ahead and put these down. <laughs> Woo! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Little Mac egg on there. I love these little bean curd, little fried bean curd babies. Oh my god. So good. Put a little avocado. A little more. Let's see. This is not bad. It's really good. Like I said, it does throw you off because it's a little firmer than like a normal tuna would be. But it's got nice oils and herbs in it. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to go ahead and roll this up. We ain't gonna do her that way. Okay. <laughs> and the other reason I don't like this one because it gets soft really fast. <clears throat> yeah, you see the difference? Like how I did the other one? And it took a little bit longer to get softer. For some reason, and I believe yeah, burn. <laughs> like, don't quit rolling. I think this is the. Yeah. Oh, that's why. Well, no, maybe not why. Let me keep rolling. Before I can't roll it no more. Alright, so this one I got is Vimney Spring Rose from the makers of Happy Faux, gluten free, low calorie, six damager. Uh huh. Okay. And this one is. Just the regular Vietnamese bond. Yeah. Don't give me butchering. Actually, let's take a, a half a broken one and help this one along. <laughs> mm -hmm. this, yeah, you see. See all over the place. Go ahead and roll her up. Which 
Which this one does take a minute to get softer. Uh. But anyway, there we go. Try to get softer. We got our lips on top. Is that big? Try this, try your version, and do your own mate, twist and take. Do a little vegan vegetarian food in your life. Even if it's once a week. Baby. Remember I said to soften it up? She's soft already. Mm -hmm. And the texture is very different. The other one is very like soft. I don't know what it is. I don't know because if this is this has rice, cassava, water, and salt. I don't know what it is, but maybe you can't even put the stuff on it before it's mushy like gushy. Like I said, it's all rice paper, so. And tapioca starch, I think. So. Just stick with the classic meat and mini wrapper, is what I'm going to say. Don't get the fancy one. Until next time, there's a barn bang. So I can go watch you some veggie pals, uh, eat you some vegan vegetarian food, and go love on some channels that you have been watching or haven't been watching. You're going to see, start seeing like in my um, drop downs, you know, where they got the little, looks like a little eye and then you can click on and they got a lot of drop downs. You will no longer see my channel in there. You will start seeing other people's channel. And because uh, it's just easier to put people's channel in there instead of like when you're editing and then you forget, you know. It's just easier to do it that way. And then, like I said, don't forget to get you some Lips Hot Sauce, baby. And some merch, honey. Go If you don't know who tidlips.com is, give me. You can go with the merch at twolips.com. If you don't know who Lips is, it is Living Life for Positive Serenity. Go check his channel. It's going to be linked in my description, my pinned comment. Go get you a bonnet from Yummy Bites TV. They got it in pink and yellow reversible. You can get it in black and red reversible, honey. They are super cute. They are 25 book. Yes, honey. Go get them. Go support. Go support the channels that I'm going to be linking in my drop down. And definitely go support my family. Veggie Pals. Go support Amy and her children. They're very beautiful people. Very awesome content creator. Go eat you some vegan and vegetarian food, whether it's for health reasons, once or twice a week, or you want to make a big lifestyle change, honey. This is all good, and I'm just showing you some products that I can get in my local HEB and Korean store. 
and honey. Endless possibilities of what you can make with it. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Please stay true and you'll be. Ah, Vern bang, baby. Alrighty, y'all. And don't skip on that recipe. <laughs> Oh, and one last thing. You're like, girl, she ain't done yet. No, I'm not done yet. Like I said, don't skip on this recipe. Go watch Amy's recipe of her doing the vegan if you want the vegan. Mm -hmm. Yes, honey. But you do you. I already know you're going to be the best you, and one thing, honey, I can tell, you, you, hey, pay attention back there, and you, never, ever, not, ever, not, ever, let anybody change you, honey, you, and you, and you, not pay attention back there, are perfect, yes, I said perfect, you are perfect, honey. Yes, you are perfect. Just the way you are. So, anyways, till next time.